All right. I think that worked. Hey, I have a camera. I have a face, a real face. I don't know why I do these weird poses in the camera when I go in big mode, but I don't know. It's fun to me. We are back in Outer Wilds. And I'm not really sure how close I am to the finish, to finishing this DLC. And I haven't really hit any point in the, because I started with a new save profile before I started on the DLC. Or as I started on the DLC, rather. I haven't seen anything that struck me as being a new change that made me think I should go back to the Quantum Moon to talk to Solanum. It's not really clear if the Owlkin, or whatever you want to call them, if they had any association with the Noma at all. It almost seems as though they existed... Actually, did we... I don't think we came to a concrete decision. Well, I mean, they must have... they must have existed in the system around the same time as the Nomai, because they got ghost matter on the... on the... on the stranger, on their, their big structure that we are calling the stranger. So they were present, or at least the stranger was present, when the interloper blew up ghost matter all over the place. Now, that being said, doesn't seem like it hurt them at all. And it could be that because they were already in their mortuaries, in their, like, dream reality at the time. So they might have come to visit the system, detecting the eye of the universe, decided that the eye of the universe was bad, and then go into their virtual reality sleep. And then the Nomai came along. Or they had decided the eye of the universe was evil while the Nomai were still present. Okay, so one way one way we can figure this out for sure is because I know there's at least a couple of slides where the Owlkin, that's what I'm going to call them, I don't care what you say, the Owlkin, like, have pictures of the solar system, of our solar system. And I don't remember if Dark Bramble is showing up there, or if it's the, the pre-Dark Bramble planet that used to be there. No, I mean, I'm kind of going on, but let's... It was in one of the first slide reels I looked at. Let's see if we can find that again. And then we're going to go back to the tower mortuary at the, the Cinder Isle Tower that they're calling the Candlelit Tower. And we're going to continue with that path as well. Alright, we're going to escape gravity. Once it feels okay, it feels like we escaped gravity there. Let me check the ship log. Rumor mode. There. Oh, we passed by it already. Oh no, we didn't. Never mind. We're actually well closer to it. I was gonna say relatively close, but five kilometers. As far as the solar system is concerned, that's still at least the width between orbits. If not more. Alright, so there's that. There is this hull breach over there. I forget where it puts us out at. Whoa. So we can actually land here. Yes, that's what we want. And we got our suit on, we are ready to pop in. Uh, if we're... There, there we go. Come on. Oh, 
All right. So that's what these are. This is the thing that woke me up. It was like an alarm bell ringing. When I was testing out that one area. So this is the final product of the artifacts. Okay, this is the slide reel that discusses the artifacts. That's not the one we want right now, though. Okay, here we are. Yes, okay, I forgot that's where this puts us out. We want to go into that. Put this spot here. Did we ever look through this area? Is this one possible way to get up? No, it is not. Because <laughs> the other thing, too, is I still want to look around for the code that we're missing to get in that one area. Chances are I'm going to find a structure similar to the one that we need to find the code for. And it's going to be in the alternate area, the, the, the other world. Okay. Just going to light this up. Okay, so that's for the artifacts. That is for phase three. I don't think phase three is going to be useful for us. Not at, at least not right now, anyway. I need a oh, I need a lantern from the lantern shrine. Which is the one? Okay, this one. Might as well take this lantern, because I may need to go in there. I don't know if I do or not, but I might need to. Ooh. I'm like bouncing all over the place because I want to go as fast as possible. I've just gotten used to doing that. I don't know if that's a good habit or not. Okay, here we go. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but this is probably even better. So we've got... <clears throat> yeah, so at the top we have the Hourglass Twins and Brittle Hollow. Near the middle at the bottom we have Timber Hearth. Wait. Okay, so the big green one is Giant's Deep, and it looks like it's got the Quantum Moon on it right now. And then there's another one, off to the right. So that, there, it doesn't look familiar. The The planet on the, the furthest to the right, just above the head of the blue cloaked um, Owlkin. I think that is the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble is now. Now, the Novi didn't arrive here until after Dark Bramble had blown that planet up. We know this because when the, no when the Novi came here, the vessel landed in Dark Bramble. So the Dark Bramble hadn't reached here yet. It came from other, some other part of space. And who knows? There's, there's kind of like a fan theory that Dark Bramble is actually connected to some sort of weird alien intelligence that sent its seed off in the, this direction to try to find the eye of the universe itself and just wasn't able to and that's part of the reason why it's causing all these problems anyway so i think this picture here unless one of the other slides proves it wrong this picture proves that the alkin were here before the nomai were and they're going to look at their own planet, and they're going to cry. 
now they are going into the they're going into the mortuaries using their artifacts and taking a nap and entering their dream world so either there was like one who you know stayed behind and didn't go to sleep with the rest you know before before making this slide reel or I don't know they, they could have just they could have just done that before going to sleep they could have made that slide reel before going to sleep just to show yeah this is what we're gonna do this is why we're doing this thing that we're about to do well, hey you can see bro you can see the planets from here I didn't notice that before I've only ever really seen the stars and the sun, but not the planets. So that's kind of a nice detail. The dam hasn't burst yet. Hmm. We're not going to have a way to get back up here later, so you know what? Let us... Because I'm thinking about trying to get back to my ship. I'm not going to have a convenient way to get back to my ship when the dam bursts. How did I get over here anyway in the first place? Was it, uh, yeah, it was this way. the boost. Alright, so let's go back in the ship. Let's fix the cockpit. It's not really necessary, but if I end up doing extra damage to my ship before I'm getting to where I need to go, then it'll help if I fix some of the damage now. Why is everything dark? There we go. We want to go here. Ooh. So these solar panels, are they solid? They look like they're solid. You kind of gently bounce off them, but they do feel solid-ish. Whoa. Oh, I went too far away. That's okay, though. Let's go around the back. Stranger. Ooh, I was I was moving way too fast there. All right. Okay, so now we're at the alternate exit or alternate entrance, depending on how you prefer to think of it. here. Actually, yeah, I'll leave my ship here, just in case I don't. Like, it's possible that I don't need my ship to do what I'm planning to do, but it'd be handy to just keep it here. So, in the event I'm able to get back to this entrance, when I want to get on top of the dam, after the dam has burst, then I'm gonna need to come here to get to my ship and then move to the other side. I might be able to get to the other side without my ship, but having the ship makes it a lot easier. Alright, one last refuel for good luck. Did I ever look through here to see if there's any other hidden entrances? There is on the other side, but I'm not sure if there is on this side. No. 
Okay. So there's only the one secret elevator. I guess that kind of makes sense. They probably knew that you would check for secret elevators everywhere else if you knew about the one. Okay. Ooh, I've already used up a fair bit of fuel. Hop back in. And... Correct. There is a door here, but I can't actually access it from the inside. Which is fine. So I'll have to come back here after the dam is burst. When it's getting close to the end of the cycle. I'm just gonna leave my scout there just as a reminder. Actually, let's stop in here. Because this is the first place that we visited. Be, I'd be interested to know if there's anything that I didn't have the context for the first time I went through here. There's this dude. This is the first painting, the first portrait that I saw of these dudes. Hmm. There are some slide reels here. I could just look through them again. Shrine. It's over there. There we go. Now, so I'm kind of wondering if these slides will show me anything like... Now that I know a bit more information, these slides might actually tell me something that I didn't get the first time. Okay, there's the Eye of the Universe. There is one, two, three, four, five planets, including the pre, the non, not Bramble planet. Send, send, I sent out a signal to the these Alkin that lived on the moon of this ringed planet. He opened his mouth. Yeah, that was freaky the first time I saw it. But holy shit, look at this dude. Look at this, dudes. It's right there. Okay. Then they build the stranger. We, they didn't show the reels for that because, you know then they'd actually have to go into detail about how it, was, how it was constructed, which is probably irrelevant for the gameplay. Okay, and then they moved over here. Cool. Alright, that's that one. And it's the phase one slide that I saw back here. Yeah, this is the phase one. Actually, yeah, that's something else I was thinking about, too, because Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3, I had no idea what they were supposed to actually communicate. There's something to do with these tablets that they're carrying around. And they're somehow connected to how the vault was locked. Okay, he lights some torch somewhere, and that does that. I 
think it was in the phase three tap. I'm calling it phase one, phase two, and phase three. I don't know why. It looks like it looks like one of those residents wavelength things. The way the way the symbol is. In one of these slide reels, though, I think it was three. It shows the person. Am I safe in here? Okay! I'm relatively safe. Well, hey. That boat. Can I get out of here? Or am I stuck in here? I'm not gonna just die if I do this, am I? No, I think I'm good. Cool. That's much better. The sun's getting a little redder now. The dam has burst. And there's the metal structure. Which I want to call a bell, but I'm not sure if that's really a name that makes sense. Where did my... S oh, there's the scout. That's kind of weird. Oh, am I still able to get through that door? Kind of suck if it was like impossible now. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's impossible. Well, so much for my theory about being able to get out to my ship. For some reason I wasn't thinking that this was low enough to get submerged, but I guess it was. Alright. So, think. There's only two other exits. One of them is at the dam. And that's the one I'm trying to get to. The other one is in the hull breach. So I'm gonna have to hop on a raft. A raft. I'm doing it again now. I'm calling the rafts ramps. And try to get to... Whoa, whoa. Come on. No, I can't get under... I can't get out of there. I have to do it this way. to go back to where we came from, I guess. Now I'm kind of wishing I did leave that, my ship there. I don't know if I'm able to get up there, though. With the water level much as high as it is now. And I'm probably going to get there and find out I would have been much better off if I just left my ship where it was. But let's not go this way. I don't want to get my wrap stuck. Let's go this way. I'm trying to navigate these areas on the raft while it keeps on getting hit. It's a little bit tricky. All right, this is the way we want to go. We want to keep on bearing right. just the right direction. Okay, let's not accidentally walk off the ramp raft. 
Okay, it almost looks like it's intended to be treated this way. Oh, no, I went a little too high. Okay, we're good. We're good. We didn't get swept away. I thought it was gonna get swept away, but... Woo! You could probably get crushed right here, by the way. I would not be surprised. A lot of people don't realize you could get crushed by the elevator at the launch, the, the launch uh, tower on Timber Hearth. Because it's not normally up when you're down, but if you happen to fall off the launch tower and you survive, or if you use your suit's jetpack to get down, then standing underneath the elevator will summon it. And most people don't realize that until it's too late. Yeah, so I could totally could have just left my spaceship here. But... Alright. Which way do I need to go? We want to go... Oh, man. Okay, now we are anti-gravity. We're running out of fuel, but that's okay. Oh, let's not overdo it. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We're running out. Come on. Oh man, oh man. Am I gonna make it? Holy. Wait, where's my ship? Isn't this where I put my ship? Did I get mixed up? No, I didn't. Why is- oh yeah, that's right too. I- this isn't the place I wanted- I, I was going to put my ship here. And then I realized I couldn't because the dam would submerge the entrance to this area. So I tried the other end, and then oh, the water also submerged that. Come on. Accidentally lit it up. There we go. All right. That oxygen. I wasn't too worried about running out of oxygen. It's just the lack of fuel that might be a little annoying. Oh, is it time? Is this the end? Okay, well, let's check out our progress bar that we were wondering about before. Yeah. I can't get up there because my fuel is not working. Okay. We can view it from here. It does... It does appear that the entire point of this Microsoft Surface tablet is to show us... Wait. Is that indicating we have already left? Like, are we that much farther away from the rest of the... Can I see the sun from here? No. I'm too far away to see the sun. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, so we have traveled quite some distance. I can't use my map. Oh... Son of a bitch, you can't- can we even see the supernova happening? Oh, there we go. See, just- oh wow. Is this- Yeah, it's showing that. Yeah, and the solar panels are 
blocking my view, mostly. Wow, I don't even see the supernova. So yeah, we have already left. So if you wait, if you're in the solar system and you wait too long to get onto the stranger, it'll be gone. Like, it just leaves. Which is actually pretty cool. Because this, the way it's like, it's really, I appreciate the way they did that. In a way, kind of retconning the gameplay. Because it doesn't make sense that there's this new location you just never noticed before in your solar system. But if it's stealthed, it's to the point where you can only see it, like in the first five minutes of your solar system or something. And only if you're, like, standing outside your solar system, then that kind of makes sense. You're lucky I'm in a time loop. And you're lucky, you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good with just having a loop where I'm just gonna chill out on Tipper Hearth. Just to have a little change of scenery. I'm hearing a noise. I'm not sure if that's my computer or not making that noise. Alright. Hey, yo, hatchling. I'm just gonna wander around a little bit. See if there's anything new that I'd never noticed before. This might be an exercise in futility, but ah, it's a good way to kind of break up. As much as I want to see more of the new area, I don't want to get burnt out on it. Nice. How come he never made me an instrument? Huh? These two, I'm not going to play hide and seek with them. I'll be honest, it feels almost annoying to have a hide and seek quick frequency, you know, along with my more important frequencies. Ooh. It's almost a shame you can't delete frequencies that you're not using anymore. So, starting a new profile, I'd rather just not play hide and seek with them altogether, which is kind of weird because it would make sense if you're playing if you're like for role playing purposes it would make sense plus it's kind of a nice little exercise hmm. I'm not seeing anything new certain it was Hornfell himself that set up the radio tower that communicates with Oval Spacey. The only other person to have anything to do with it was Gapro, and I already talked to him about it. It's like, it's funny, I like details like that where it's like, it's a fact that your character knows but you don't and the only way to learn about it as a player is for your to choose that to see that in the dialogue options I don't think he'll say anything new don't think so I'm good okay same as before Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, now I'm glad I came back here. Should someone tell Gabro her eye back? Oh, stars, this is so exciting, making my stomach hurt. Hal, can you help me translate this new alien language I found? A new language? Yes, absolutely. Stars above, you bet I can. Just give me, let's call it a couple, a hundred samples, some form of epigraphical codex in six months, and I should have the vague gist of the sort of graphemes this new language is working with. Gosh, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> it's like, oh boy, another six, a six month long project. I can't wait. Here, meanwhile, I'm like, uh... I'm glad that they included that little bit of dialogue, because that's the game developer telling you, yeah, you're not going to translate this alien language, just deal with it. Which is fine, because they have most of their records in video or photographic slides. Is there anything else in here that's changed? So based on the slides that we've seen so far, I think we're pretty, I'm feeling pretty confident that the Owlkin arrived and went to sleep before the Nomai arrived to, in our solar system. So the, the Owlkin were not active at all when the Nomai were here. does call into question like how they died exactly though because i mean it makes sense if they were just like if they just went to sleep and never woke up then eventually their bodies would just shut down right unless they had some medical way to prevent that from happening in which case then you've got to ask was it just dying from sitting in one place too long? Or was it death due to ghost matter? Then none of them had ghost matter crystals on their bodies. But there's not really a whole lot of ghost matter around the space station, um, the stranger station. Hmm. Maybe I'll visit the other travelers, just to see if they have anything new to say about what I have to say. Actually, let us... Yeah, the twins are about to come around, so let's go there. We'll start with Chert. I think I'd like to know what Ryback has to say as well. Ooh. Coming in hot. Ooh. Coming in very hot. Ooh. There we go. That's the rotation we want. There's no good place to land here. This guy should land close to the bridge here. And let's put on our suit. This is an easy enough planet to travel around on, so it's not like you need to plant land right next to Chert. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? One fellow's asked me to update our star charts, so I'm here, out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate just to see one. Keep an eye out. I, keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? I found something. Actually, never mind. I have a question for you. How do I know if I spotted Supernova? What are you doing out here? Where should I explore here? How dangerous is that? Okay, so this is all... 
Uh, none of that's new information. It'd be cool if I had, like, a, some way to identify the Alkin star so I could point it out to Chert or something like that, and maybe he could tell me something interesting. Here, he could tell me, oh yeah, that one someone supernova a long time ago, or something like that. You can still see its explosion. Alright, so... Let's go to Giant's Deep. That one's the next closest one. Yeah, close enough. If Chert doesn't have anything interesting to say, Gabro doesn't have anything interesting to say, and Ryback doesn't have anything interesting to say, I'm going to assume that Esker and Feldspar don't either. That's Gunner! Woo! Speed increase! Alright. Go back up. Where's Gabro's island? Oh, that's Gabro's ship. Not quite what I'm looking for. I apologize to anyone that is getting seasick from me swinging around like this. It just happens to be the quick, the quickest way to look for, look for Gavro. Cool. Alright, do you have anything new to say? Hey, you time buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of brain, huh? Doing out here. I found something. Hmm. Well, it's kind of a shame they didn't give them any new dialogue for after you land on the stranger and discover stuff there. I mean, if anyone's interested in alien civilizations, it'd be right back. But if he doesn't have anything, if I don't have anything to tell him about it, then I'm not going to bother trying again until after I'm, after I think I've solved, ever, solved everything on the stranger. Mostly the reason I'm doing this is just because I kind of took my time on the, the Herthian village at the beginning of this loop. And I don't feel like just quitting out of the loop. Okay. Wait, where is the crossroads? We have to look for the campfire. Headlights damaged, landing gear damaged, that's okay. There's the campfire. way to get to right back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, next level down. Oh yeah. Landed with style. Oh hey, you launched. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. You're a coward. Let's, let's move on. I learned something. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Man, it's a shame. So I bet Ryback would have loved to know about a second alien civilization in our solar system. This place is falling apart. What do the hourglass twins look like now? 
Mm, we're past the halfway mark. The sun's not quite turning red yet, but it's probably getting close to it. Alright, well, let's go back up. We'll get back in the ship. I wonder if we can even target the stranger anymore. Let's see. The stranger it is... Yeah, it's moving away. It's on its way out. So yeah. That does kind of confirm what I was saying all along. It's definitely moving out of the supernova's range. And it probably gets to a point where you can't even reach it again. How do we get up there? this? Is this the old settlement? No, it's not. This is going to take a, take me away from my ship, which I do not want. Seasick, yeah? Freeze detected. Crystals. Oh, is my ship in the black hole? No, it's not. It's right here. Maybe it's about to go in the black hole. I mean, rather than traveling up, I could have just, like, put it somewhere I knew was gonna fall down to the black hole. And then just jumped in the black hole myself. Okay, that's the white hole station. For a second I thought that was Bramble, Dark Bramble, but Dark Bramble's right next to it. So I don't know how I got confused with that. 60 kilometers away. Should we try? Let's try. The dam's probably burst by now, so... I may have to turn off autopilot, though. Okay, we are catching up to it. I was kind of wondering if maybe at a certain point it would be moving too fast for me to get to, but... It looks like I am able to reach it. Firing retro rockets. Why are we firing retro rockets now? Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. Okay, I guess that's fine. Uh, wow, okay. I'm actually a little surprised I was able to reach out here, no problem. Sun's looking pretty distant. Well, now I'm not sure what to do. I guess I could go over here. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Reactor damaged. Okay. It's an angry red. There we go. It's safe now. Health and fuel pool. Let's go. There's little viewports. I don't know if the viewports actually help me in any way. Okay. Wait. There is a second artifact. What were to happen if... Yeah, these are the second artifacts. Oh, I don't have enough time to find out. The slide reels for the second artifacts were burned. But what if we took... Because there's, there's the artifact one, which looks like a normal lantern. I don't know why I said it like that. Lantern. Yeah, so this is the first version of the artifact. The ones that we've been using is the third version. When we looked in the slide reel, there was also the second version, which didn't have the little... Focus flaps, like this one does here. Let's give it a try. I bet that'll do something. Fix the cockpit. See, I know my hull, my port for my starboard. It's not moving particularly fast. But I'm thinking this must be moving just fast enough to get out of range of the supernova. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Because that was bugging me. Ow. Oh. We never we never saw in the slide reels what the second artifact did, but it never quite I never quite made the connection that hey they have second artifacts here. We could just take one and find out what happens. <gasps> I'm gonna pause it there for a moment. I'm gonna take a five minute break. Let's see. Um yeah, we'll take a five minute break. It is, we're 54 minutes in right now, so I'll be back in five minutes. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far, and hope you'll stick around. If not, then that's okay too. Um, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> 